this is Xet, and uh, like I told you in my weekly finds video of this week, um, there was a huge flea market in uh, in the Netherlands um, this Saturday and Sunday. Uh, the bit I'm showing you now is what I bought on Saturday. After this, we will get to the part of uh, Sunday. So first up, uh, something from my own collection. Um, the Metal Gear Solid Essentials collection for the PS2 only got released in the United States, or at least in NTSC format, and this is actually sealed. So yeah, that's pretty special to find that in a flea market. It looks way better than my uh, collection copy, so I'm keeping that. Then Persona, <clears throat> Persona for the PSP. See, I paid five euros for that, the limited edition. So I was really happy with that. Um, some of these games have prices on them, but not all are uh, what I paid for it. So the next few things are things I'm keeping for myself as well. Unholy War, Alone in the Dark, Shifters, Sonic Riders. Apparently this game sucks balls. Did anyone play this? Let me know. Curse to Eye of Iris. Echo Night Beyond. I'm really happy with this. I paid uh, 20 euros for this. This was from a, a reseller, so he knows he knew what he had. But um, finding this in the non-German version, so this is a multi-language version, uh, is quite hard and uh, can be quite expensive. It's a, a horror survival game. Then Pac-Man World 2. And the last two I'm keeping are oh, Boktai, The Sun is in Your Hands. It's a really cool Game Boy game where um, uh, the Game Boy cartridge has a solar sensor. Let's see if I can get it out there. It has a solar sensor and uh, the game changes or the power of your sword changes uh, if you're sitting in the sun. So it charges your sword. Uh, yeah, playing the, your Game Boy in the sun is really hard, but it's a nice game mechanic. And the uh, complete Game Boy Color. Then the next stuff I'm going to show you, uh, except this one actually, uh, Kiliak, The Blood, and this is one of those official rental versions. Uh, I showed you one of these before, I have Ridge Racer I think, and as you can see it has a special disc, rental only, need to clean this up. If you want to see how I clean this stuff up, be sure to check out my tutorial on uh, cleaning get discs. So next up, uh, the stuff you'll see is all uh, going to be for sale. Top left here we have... Siberia for the PC big box version. Prince of Persia 3D big box, and um, this actually came sealed, but uh, the seal was so ripped that I just took it off to see what's inside, because the seal added no value at all. Then Tunguska or Tunguska Legend of Faith, Burn Cycle which I only knew from the P, uh, the CDI, didn't know there was a PC game and it comes with um, dog tags little worn but the fact that they're still here is a, is a plus usually PC games are in horrible condition on, uh, when you buy them at flea markets then something really cool, uh, I already have one of these so this one's gonna be for sale it's a Super Mario Land uh, LP or EP it's a record. I actually, the song is on YouTube if you want to check it out. It's called. It's by the Ambassadors of Funk, featuring MC Mario. It's really uh, 90s. Uh, then over here we have Arc of Time, big box. Didn't know it was released on the PC as well. Only know the PS1 version. Then with the gun falling out, we have Time Crisis box is in bad condition but for the price I paid it was uh, still good. Time Crisis Project Titan actually by the way. Then Exile Mist. I got Mist 3 Exile. I really like the visuals of the Mist games but when I tried to play them as a kid uh, the games were too hard or I, or I was too stupid I uh, just couldn't uh, figure them out. Then Runaway the Dream of Turtle and Ro and the Road Adventure. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna sell this or keep this because I do like the game, but uh, I never got really far. At some point, I just stopped. And uh, Dune for the PC. And then the last PC game is Lands of Lore 2: Guardians of Destiny. Picked this up at the uh, secondhand shop. Then some PS2 games, Project Zero, Mortal Kombat Deception, Obscure 2, Monster Hunter, 
Rumble Roses, Fantasy Star Universe, Silent Hill 4, and another Project Zero. Over here we have two complete NES games, another Mario 2, DuckTales, and over here I have a Mario Bros. 1, quite good condition. Then some PS1 stuff, Hogs of War, Hogs of War, Silent Hill, Tekken 3, Crash 3, Crash Team Racing, Wipeout 3 and Destruction Derby 2, and the th funny thing is, over here you see Destruction Derby 2, on the spine you see Destruction Derby 2, on the disc, however, you see Destruction Derby, and uh, actually all copies I have of this have that, so there's probably a mistake somewhere. This is Super Widget, just picked it up because I thought it was rare, I haven't checked it out yet, so I'm not sure. Uh, some NES cartridges, DuckTales, Double Dragon, Metal Gear, and another DuckTales. DuckTales is a really popular game, it sells really well. It's not valuable at all, but uh, it sells really nicely. Then, uh, Game Boy Advance SP Silver Edition. And the last thing for now, because this is just uh, another uh, board game, really cool game. Machiavelli is definitely one of my favorite 99.9 games. If you like board games, check this out. And this is just a disc only of the Crow. That really needs some fixing up. Because it looks horrible. But uh, Crow is quite a rare game. So that was Saturday. Now comes Sunday. So this is day two of the Mega Flea Market. And uh, you know I use the word awesome a lot. But yes, it was awesome. Uh, I came really late. Um, I was there at about 11 o'clock. And usually I go uh, really early. But... Um, there have been a lot of uh, game traders checking the market, but they were either blind or out of money or, I don't know, just get ready. First up, Max Payne 2, Fall of Max Payne. This game is so awesome. Uh, I love this. Um, I'm really looking forward to part 3, by the way. It looks quite different than part 2, but um, yeah, still looking forward to it. Command and Conquer Covert Operations. Uh, Whiplash. And... The X-Files game, I'm just going to start from left to right here because it's so much. This is what I got for free, PlayStation Portable Demo Disc. I'm not sure if you got this with your PSP because I have I don't have the retail version of the PSP. Um, so I have to check out what this is. Code Veronica X, Resident Evil with the Devil May Cry demo. Then PlayStation 1. Rich Racer Type 4, Rayman 2, Track Treasure Hunt, Gran Turismo 2 with a fake front. Uh, by the way, everything I show you now, the PS1 games were all so dirt cheap that I even picked up the not so uh, good copies. So, games like this that are not valuable, I picked them up too because they were too cheap. Tomb Raider, Croc, Rich Racer, Duke Nukem, and FIFA 96. This one I'm keeping because. Uh, it's a small box and it's one of the very early games. Um, and as we progress in this next pile, things get better. Asterix, um, not so easy to find. Medieval 1, Alone in the Dark, X-Men Mutant Academy, Toka 2, and this is where the magic happens. Breath of Fire 4, oh, this is just Gran Turismo. Rapid Reload, Time Crisis, Die Hard, Capcom vs. SNK Pro, Blades and Blade, Street Fighter Alpha 3, Tekken 2 or 3, 3, Legacy of Kain, and Tenshu 2. So, finding these games at a flea market, it's ac this was actually one lot. Finding Breath of Fire 4, Blood Omen, uh, that's just amazing. I was I was actually surprised there was no Castlevania uh, Symphony of the Night limited edition in there because it would have fit right perfectly. Um, this I picked up in one bunch for five euros. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, this is some kind of wizard and Mickey. Looks to be some kind of uh, kids version of Magic the Gathering with Disney stuff. But I got this for free with the rest. Pack of Magic game cards. Magic Online PC game. 
another pack of magic cards, and then two of the starter decks for the World of Warcraft card game, which I love. And uh, I used to play magic as a kid, and uh, yeah, I'm not sure what it is, if it's worth anything, but picking all this up for 5 euro, I just couldn't pass on it. Then some more PC stuff. Silver. Command and Conquer Tiberian Sun. Commandos behind the Call of Duty, beyond the Call of Duty. Uh, Hidden and Dangerous. Jazz Jack Rabbit 2, The Secret Files. And Jazz Jack Rabbit 2. Amazing game. Really loved that as a kid, especially uh, playing it split screen which are with my brother. And then uh, the racing part, which was awesome. Duke Nukem 3D. Civilization 4. Not my type of game, but a uh, nice condition, so pick that up. Enter the Matrix. I really loved the Matrix and uh, I was really looking forward to that game back then. And I finished this in about four hours, I think. It was really short. And Command and Conquer Renegade, the not so successful uh, first person shooter, Command and Conquer. Then some Atari games. And like usually with Atari, I just pick these up in bulk. I have no clue if anything in here is valuable. I think most of them are dirt common. But yeah, at the prices of about 50 cents a piece, I'll take the gamble. So, what's up here? We have Jungle Hunt, Demon Attack, Real Sports Soccer, another copy of Jungle Hunt, Tennis, Enduro, Qbert, can't read this, Keystone Capers. Wizards of War, another copy of Enduro, Missile Command 32 in 1, Space Invaders, and Midnight Magic, Pac Man, oh, Pac Man and Desert Falcon, Decathlon, and Missile Command, Kaboom, and Missile Command, another Wizard of War, and Centipede. Looks like every game is in here at least twice. Decathlon, Miss Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, and Street Racer. No clue what it's worth, but uh, I'll find that out eventually. And then the last bits of today, I also picked up uh, three Nintendos, NES, and the Atari 26, which 2600, which came with this lot. But I'm not going to show you that because I don't want to carry them all up to my video room. Then the stuff I'm keeping for my collection. PS2 stuff. From the famous shitty producers of Phoenix, this is Moto X Maniac, Aces of War from 505, Singstar Pop Hits 2, one of the few famous Singstars I'm missing, Go Kart Rally, uh, Snow Rider, Marvel Rise of the Imperfects. I'm actually not sure if I have some space left for those in my uh, PlayStation cabinet. One PS1 game I didn't have, Apocalypse, with the, with the original sticker you got with it. Then two, my last two items, oh actually three, kind of missed this, this is a PlayStation 1 uh, backpack, or PlayStation backpack. Um, then two things, first up, a non-game item, this is a Lord of the Rings, Twin Towers, or Two Towers, a special edition with the DVD set, Gollum uh, statue, and this is still sealed. I don't know if it's valuable, it's, it looks really cool, I'm going to check out if it's worth anything, if it's worth a lot I'm going to sell it, if it's not I'm just going to keep it, because I didn't pay a, lot, uh, pay a lot for that. And then the last item, something I didn't expect to find in the flea market, and I'm really happy with because I've been looking for it quite a while, Mega Man 1 on the Game Boy, complete. So I'm really happy with this, really good addition to my collection, Mega Man, awesome series, you probably know. So that was it for this week, an amazing flea market, you've been watching for at least 10-15 minutes now, and uh, yeah, that was everything from one single flea market, spread over two days of course. So um, yeah, that was it, check out my re the rest of my videos and uh, feel free to reply, uh, I'm curious to see which, uh, which of my finds uh, interest you the most, most, as in how the hell do you find that in the flea market. So bye bye.